if I had an Olivia Award for the best performance I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, what a question is that? Oh my God, in my lifetime. I'm, I've, I've got mild anxiety already and now you're putting me under more pressure. Oh my God. I have no idea. I mean, honestly. In my whole lifetime? I thought this was going to be an easy, like, how are you feeling? Oh my goodness. Um... Jesus, what? Um... My whole life? Oh my goodness. Oh my God, there's so many performances. Oh, that's Anybody? an impossible question. So, I, I, so it was almost impossible to... to, to, to I'll tell you what. Uh, I had the great pleasure of working with Nathan Lane uh, in New York, and I remember seeing his performance in The Producers, and I'm going to go for his performance just because it brought me so much joy. Often you go for a performance that moves you or that, you know, kind of brings you to tears or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to go for that because I thought it was an incredible feat of comedic skill and energy, and so I'm going to go for that one. Honestly, I seen Patty Ferrin in Streetcar and I thought she was pretty phenomenal. Um, I think she's a total enigma, um, and yes. Very, very big fan of Patsy. Patsy for Anne. <laughs> oh, for Blanche. No, I like. It. I will not be swayed on that answer. Yeah. Um, Patsy Ferran in everything I've ever seen her do. I met her last week, and I tried to be really normal, and now this video is going to uh, ruin any chance I have a friendship with her because I think she's extraordinary. I saw um, Own Row play uh, the father in the Gay Theatre in Dublin, and that kind of blew my socks off, yeah. Well, I've got to be honest, I remember seeing Sharon D. Clarke in Caroline or Change, and that got me in my gut, in my gut. I think it would be for Fiddler on the Roof with Chaim Topol. Saw it in the 80s, and maybe because I was young, so it was super dazzling. The best actress that I ever saw in my life was Uta Hagen in New York in a was I've only seen her once in a in a play called Collected Stories. If I could award one Olivier Award, it would be posthumously to Tom Bell for Bent at the Royal Court Theatre with Ian McKellen and Simon Shepherd. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> so I'm going to say I, I had the privilege of seeing Julie Andrews do Victor Victoria. I mean come on. It's pretty great. The first one that came to mind was the great Lois Smith in the trip to Bountiful in New York at the Signature Theatre. The best performance I've seen in my lifetime on stage. Um, I saw that something like four or five times. I went and I ushered so that I could see it for free. I was a kid. And um, because she's, you know, she's Lois frickin' Smith. The most memorable has been, was like Othello a couple of years ago. Um, that was just one of the most moving experiences I think I've seen. Des Barrett, I think it was, Malvolio. It was the most incredible performance I've ever seen in my life. Adrian Lester and Rory Kinnear was playing Iago. It was great. Okay, the very best performance I've ever seen was... Uh, it was called the Puffball Cabaret, and it was in Manchester, so I'm sorry, it wouldn't be eligible for an Olivier. I would give it to um, Leah Hartley, who just played Russia Lind in my play. It was this massive um, ensemble piece, and it was crazy. You perform with them this year. Yeah, I am in awe every single night. It was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. They had like this spider web thing that appeared and they climb all over it and then they're jumping up and down on things. When I was 16, I saw Quentin Crisp. Uh, he did a, a tour, a solo tour, and it really, really blew my mind. The little tiny theatres. And then these baths all appeared that were in on chains and they were all filled with water. And uh, at school they took us to see him and it was called Straight Talking from a Bent Speaker. And what he said made more sense about the universe than any politician or anybody I've ever heard. He should have got an Olivier. And the dancers are climbing out of the bath, into another bath, into another, and then all, like, how they got the health and safety clearance for that, I've got no idea. I think I would have to say, oh, Heather Headley and Aida was like the one that I saw first and the first time I ever saw a black woman in a leading role and I was like oh my gosh I can do that for a job and that's when I was like yes so I would give it to Heather Headley. <laughs> I think it's in Jesus Christ Superstar at the Regent's Park Tyrone 
it had me sobbing literally to my knees. I think him. Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I think I would have had to have thought about that one. So I give you yourself. That's really... Really put me on the spot there. Actually, I just saw Romeo and Julie at the National, which was just incredible, and they were both amazing, and it was amazing. So, yeah, I love that. All about Eve. Um, Julian Anderson. Yeah, no, amazing. If I could give an Olivier Award to the best, Cynthia Erivo in the color purple. And I think she's kind of swept everything, so I think she's got one of those already, doesn't she? Okay, this year we obviously have all the cast of Four Black Boys, and they are all phenomenal. If I could give them an Olivier every single year, I would. Oh, best performance on stage. You really put us on the spot, man. <laughs> I would give it to all the cast of Four Black Boys. I'm going to have to say Marisha Wallace. Yeah, uh, when I saw I saw her debut in Dream Goes, and I was like, "Yo, she's killing it!" You know what I'm saying? And she done her thing. They are fantastic. I think it's complete theatre. I think it's what theatre needs right now. I think it's what West End theatre needs right now. Uh, Michael Belogan in Death of England. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's the kind of show that you watch and reminds you of how you have to keep your game up. It will have to be Medea. Yeah. At Soho Place, Sophie, she did the tin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Sophie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The obvious one will be Mark in Jerusalem because that truly was um, sensational. That's probably what most people will say. Uh, Mark Rylance in Jerusalem. Yeah. What I'm going to give you is a performance by a guy act called Richard Dormer, who played Alex Hurricane Higgins in a one person show called Hurricane. Um, and it was one of the most breathtaking things I've ever seen. Uh, I think when I was about five years old, I saw. Beauty and the Beast, and the Beast um, dis changed or morphed, what's the right word, transformed into the handsome man at the end. I honestly, I've I think about that moment every week. It was so impressive. So maybe actually it's for the magician who made that happen, but uh, that guy, whoever he is. So I would split it into three people if that's all right with you, but I've just been very boring. Well, only because of the three numbers that they sang. Judy Dench singing Send in the Clowns, Elaine Stritch singing I'm Still Here, and Angela Lansbury singing Liaisons. I mean, I've seen a lot of incredible performances. I've been on stage with a lot of people giving incredible performances. Nobody can surpass that, so I would split the award into three and give it to those lovely ladies. As a young man, obviously, I did a play with um, uh, we did Richard III and King Lear. Ian McKellen was Richard III. Brian Cox was King, whatever happened to him. He was King Lear. And uh, I was in that company and fortunate as a guy in his mid-twenties to watch them both every night. Um, maybe I'll give it to them. Actually, it would be to my colleague, David Morse, who was also in To Kill a Mockingbird, because it was that deep sincerity and truth with which he played that character every single night. It would be Imelda Staunton in Gypsy. Has that been popular? I would give that award to Imelda Staunton in Gypsy. I mean, she won it anyway, so she shouldn't really have it twice. She was exceptional, exceptional, like a rocket. Imelda Staunton in Gypsy. But uh, I would give it to her twice because it was, it blew the roof off. I'd never seen a performance as committed as uh, you could hear a pin drop in that Rose's turn. Uh, and I think she's just a brilliant, brilliant consummate performer. I don't actually give a shit about best performances. I give a shit about how that performance is contributing to the story that the piece is trying to tell, you know. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of, um, I mean, then again, I saw Beverly Knight last night. Who did you say? Imelda Staunton and Gypsy. This is yin and yang, you and I. That's literally what I said. Stage, I was so stage. Say you and then I stopped myself. <laughs> that is literally who I said. Wow. Two peas in a pod. Meant to be. We yeah, literally, that's, that. we actually didn't know. Okay. That's yeah. embarrassing, really. It looks like we did. We didn't, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And if you bump into her tonight, what are you going to do? Say, so please don't watch the What's On Stage video of me being weird about you.